Welcome back. You're listening to Little Rockers Radio and today we are talking about feeding our children. Many of us have been there. Our children are great eaters. They finish off everything we put in front of them. Dinner time seems like an absolute breeze and we wonder what everyone is talking about. Then overnight our children change. It seems that what they loved last week they hate this week. What they loved yesterday they hate today. So today we're chatting to Hayley from Kids Favourite Dinners who helps us take the stress out of mealtime preparation. Hi Hayley, how are you? Hi Sarah, I'm good, thank you. Great. Now you've launched, I mentioned, Kids Favourite Dinners. It's an app and also a website. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, that's correct. So Kids Favourite Dinners basically started just as you said, you know. Our kids are very unpredictable. If only they were predictable and came with a manual, things would be a lot easier. But especially around mealtimes, um, basically kids' favourite dinners started because I was personally struggling with my three, feeding them, um, asked a few questions to, to other mothers and kids' favourite dinners Facebook group was born. So kids' favourite dinners is now a community that supports one another um, by providing recipes tried and tested by the toughest of critics, which are the kids. Um, so basically kids' favourite dinners is a website and app that now has lots of recipes Mm -hmm. um, it also has a meal planning option, which you simply drag any of those recipes into and we automatically calculate your shopping list, which allows parents to save time, money and food wastage, which is um, something that we are probably all guilty of. Yes, absolutely. And so it's a community of mums that upload the recipes to share, is it? Are they all tried and tested by you or by the community of mums in general? By the community in general and myself. So anyone can add any of their favourite recipes. And then, you know, we all share them. So anyone can add their recipes. What are some of the more popular recipes that you've got on the site at the moment? So at the moment, one of the very popular ones is a creamy chicken pie, which was one of the very first recipes sort of ever added. And everyone that has tried it loves it. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much a, a winner for everyone. So mm -hmm. I'd recommend that one. We've also got um, three more top ones, which is yogurt chicken deviled sausages and then of course Taco Tuesday. Oh my gosh, Taco Tuesday. There is a meal that I have never thought about cooking for my children on a Tuesday and I should. It would be so simple. It ties in with the movie and uh, it's a simple meal to be able to cook and prepare as well, isn't it? Absolutely and anything that you can kind of pre-do like the night before you can cut up all of your kind of lettuce, tomato, all of that, it, it just makes life easier for you especially when you're working and things like that. I often do a bolognese sauce and then that's my taco sort of you know meat I suppose for the next day. It doesn't have to be taco meat, mm. any meat will do. So you know it's all about sort of little hacks and, and time saving things as well. Which leads perfectly into my next question. What are three hacks that you've found uh, that work for you in getting your kids to eat some wholesome home-cooked meals? Yeah, so basically following on from the Taco Tuesday, um, getting them involved. So if they're sort of help prepared or they feel like they've got some control over what they're eating, even though you're actually controlling it because you are putting it in front of them, but if they can choose what they're putting into their you know, taco or wrap, they are way more likely to eat it, I've found. Mm. Um, and they feel, you know, like my son, he's like, oh, I just want cucumber and tomato. But the others, you know, they'll have something different and they seem to like that. Yeah. So getting them involved is a big one. Um, letting them serve their own amount. It, um, it is something that I think we expect, you know, we serve up these big giant meals to them and then think that they're not eating anything when they probably really are. So if you let them just serve their amounts, I do find that that, um, is better to get them eating yeah. and also obviously I love to meal plan and that's what you know kids favorite dinners is, is really focusing on but by meal planning and having your little meal plan stuck to your fridge you know so they can see what is happening this week they seem to just I don't know be a bit more in routine and know know what's coming up so there's no kind of arguments but I don't like it like they know on Monday what they're eating all week. Yeah, so there's no surprises there. You're not putting something in front of them and they're sitting there going, what's this, mum? Absolutely. So I find that helps and also, you know, which we all try and do, just hide vegetables wherever you can. Yeah, absolutely. And one of the other things that I found really helpful and I'm not doing it very well at the moment and uh, I go through stages where I do do it very well and then not so well is growing your own herbs and vegetables and getting the kids involved in that process so they can go out and pick parsley to sprinkle over their dinner, to get some carrots out of the garden, etc. It does take time, but it is uh, something that the children can really enjoy and get involved 
involved in as well. Absolutely. We do the same here. Um, in the school holidays, we just went to a program where they learnt all of that and brought them home and things, and they're loving watching them grow and having that responsibility of, you know, watering them and stuff and then eating them and it's just how much better it tastes and everything. So that, that is a really good thing as well. Now tell us, what have you learned about feeding families and children since you first launched Kids Favourite Dinners? Well, I personally thought that I was alone. Like, I really did think that, oh my gosh, I must have three of the world's fussiest, fussiest kids when it comes to eating and feeding them. Like, I love cooking, but it was just making it so unenjoyable. So I guess what I've learned the most is that actually everyone has these issues and it's okay. Like, it's fine. It's perfectly normal. But if we can all support each other with, you know, recipes that might be working for you that I can use or vice versa, and, you know, talk about the struggles and just help each other, then I think that that's, that's the biggest thing, like just supporting everyone else, you know. Mm-hmm. If you're eating, you know, I don't know, if you're feeding your kids beans on toast, that's okay. You're feeding them. <laughs> let's just not beat ourselves up over it, you know, and let's jump on to the kids' favourite dinners and, and support each other and add those recipes. Now, if people are interested in finding out more about kids' favourite dinners, where can they go? Yeah, so basically our website is www.kidsfavoritedinners.com. All the information's on there and it's free to register. Um, there's no cost involved or you can download our free app from your app store which is available on iOS and Android. Beautiful and they just search for Kids Favourite Dinners, I assume, in the app store. Correct. Lovely. And all the links are also on our website at www.littlerockersradio.com.au. Thanks very much for joining us today, Hayley. Thank you, Sarah, and you have a great day. You too. That was Hayley from Kids Favourite Dinners on Little Rockers Radio. Thanks for listening.